Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from a company called Design Visionaries, and I get the fun privilege today of talking about a process or a portion of NX software that's called assembly sequencing. Assembly sequencing is the ability to take some assembly that you have and show it dynamically in different positions, basically sequences. And so, as you can see on the screen, I've got a very simple slider crank mechanism and I can use assembly sequencing to make it go through its paces and actually create an animation of it as it's moving. In order to proceed, I click on assembly sequence and as soon as that happens, I'm in the assembly sequence navigator. Here's, here it is, sequence navigator. Here's the little checkered flag that will throw me out of the sequence navigator when I'm done and I have all of these assembly sequence commands. As you can see, there's a little camera over here and a play and a pause. And what I'm going to be able to do is select one of these entities and or one of these components and do something with it. So for example, if I click on this name right here, the se sequence, sequence one, it's my default. I can see that there's a number of properties, description, scope, type, etc. One of the most important properties is assembly constraints, whether they're on or off. And since these are on, when I do my sequence, I'll be able to move these components, but only to the degree that they are free from a constraints standpoint. So there's a touch in this one, and there's a concentric on this one, a concentric on that one. So as I revolve this geometry, this wheel, this crank is going to go back and forth. So to continue, what I do is I hit the new sequence button. Here's my sequence number two, because I had already selected one. I can click on this. I can double click right here and create a new name like uh, rotation. There we go, enter. So this is a new sequence called rotation. And the very first thing I do is insert a motion into rotation. I say insert. It asks me to select a component to actually apply a motion to. And then I go to the next button and I say move objects. And these little BBs here are the rotational moves. The arrows are the translational moves. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to start rotating this piece of geometry like this so I can see the motion. So what I'm doing is I'm building the first motion. And when I hit OK, it updates. You can see there's, it says step 10, and that was motion one. The next thing I'm going to do is capture a camera angle and rotate to another view like this. And I'm going to capture another camera angle. So those will be portions of this uh, animation I'm building in a sense. And now I'm going to do another move so I'm going to click on Select Objects, grab the object again, click Move Object, and I'm going to rotate it like this a few times. There we go. And I'm going to say OK. And now I have another motion in my sequence, the rotation sequence. So that's enough. Now I'm going to get out of the record component motion technique, and I'm going to use the disassemble command, disassemble. And what that does is it allows me to select a component that I want to be, that I want to have taken out of the assembly, if you will. Say OK. So as you can see, there's wheel, and I'm going to do another disassemble, and I'm going to take out this component, which is the rod. I'm going to rotate this around like this, capture another screen angle. And let's say that is the whole sequence that I want to show people. Great. So now up here, you can see that there's the rewind command. There's the previous frame command. So I'm going to rewind this whole thing. And as you, as you can see, when I rewind it, all the parts come back. 
And now I'm going to click the play button, and it's going to play through the entire sequence, the first motion, the camera, the camera, the, cam the second motion, the disassembling of the wheel, the rod. It's all here. So I click on play forward, and you can watch it as it goes through motion one. It goes through the rotation of the camera, motion two. Then the um, two dissembles are there. And then it comes back to the last screen capture, in a sense. So that is a sequence. Next, I get to export a movie if I want. If I click on this, it will ask me what I want to call it. And it will export, export an MPEG file that I can play anywhere I want. And finally, I'll say finish sequence. And then, of course, it'll come back to the regular view of the assembly. So that's how you do an assembly sequence. Thank you very much for your listenership. Again, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and you can see many more tutorials on a website called nxtutorials.com, or you can go to the designvisionaries.com website slash training. Thank you very much. See you on the web.